Foundry Mark. <coughs> B. Zoppo, uh, which was turn of the century, maybe a little. Where is it? B. Oh. Zoppo, stamped into. Uh, stamped into um, the plaster and then transmitted into the balance. Now, a question here. Why are fundraisers so keen on making sure that people know who cast the bronze, but carvers will not perpetuate their labor on the stones? It's not necessarily the Pichilili, but none of the monuments that I've seen say it's carved by, why? Yeah, it's interesting. Um, it has to do with the, um, the attitude of the sculptor who's doing the work. So Daniel Chester French obviously was a fan of the Pichirillis and he wanted them to get credit, um, but because of the social um, uh, issues of the time, they were just considered artisans and not necessary. But in terms of bronzes, this is a marketing tool and the foundry wanted to have their foundry mark visible so other sculptors would know that they could do work of this quality and get more business that way.